Hey guys, back with a follow up video on uh, the Eric Cortina tuner. In the uh, last video, I showed you I put the tuner on a brand new barrel and uh, I was starting to break it in. And um, I just wanted to give it a try just, you know, just to see how it would do without a whole bunch of load development. And so, what I did was is I took the load. That I was shooting before in my other barrel and I just put it right into this barrel just to see see how it could do so I showed you when I did my initial side in and dozen shot cleaning and then I just did a three shot group at 100 yards and it was pretty much in the same hole so now I've gone out to 600 yards and I know this isn't that easy to see and I got some extra shots in here that I was sighting in that kind of makes it look messed up, but I know which ones are which. So when the set when the tuner is sitting on zero, we've got these three shots here. One, two, three. That's it, over on the far left. One, two, three. So that's about an inch and a half group. I missed my bullseye because the wind started picking up and the mirage started picking up and so anyway, that's what I shot one two three about an inch and a half these these uh, little circles here are two inches so that kind of gives you it's about an inch and a half right there the next three were these three right here this high one up here is sighting in you can see down below here oh, I don't know if you can see that one way down at the bottom I was aiming for here but it flew up here and I adjusted my scope down and I started started my test over here so this this was a not part of it but there's the second three and it's a little bit bigger than the first one it started opening up a little bit now the next one it's got a lot of vertical but it's actually smaller than the first one just by a tiny tiny bit but you can see the next one you got two down here and one up here you got two and one on this one and you got two and one and it's getting bigger and you got two and one on this one and this bullseye shot here that's when I was sighting in over here on a different time but anyway, these two, so it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I can see that the tuner is definitely working. It just so happens that it started out with my initial load pretty darn close. You know, it was just, I like seeing a nice perfect little triangle when I'm, when I'm doing load development. When I start seeing them stringing up or one, two and one and all these kinds of things, I, I'm not liking that too well. But when I'm seeing a nice perfect little triangle, inch and a half that's not bad it's okay I mean I wish it was a little bit smaller like an inch or a little bit less but I'll keep working on it you gotta realize the wind picked up the mirage picked up everything when I was trying to break the barrel in the rest of the way so I was shooting and letting the barrel cool shooting so I got down there about nine and I didn't get around to this test till about 11 but then the mirage picked up you know and uh, the wind picked up and so that's why I'm not hitting perfect on the bullseyes here because the winds pushing me off I was doing my best to to read the wind and get them in there which I wasn't doing too bad but you know you can see I was this one was off to the left this one I'm off to the left I got this one centered pretty good this one centered pretty good too it's just opening up so I can see how the tuner will definitely open up or shrink a load so the tuner definitely works now whether or not it's going to take a load and shrink it smaller than what I can do just through load development I don't know but I do know the tuner works I can see that so I'm going to develop my load the rest of the way by doing my powder seeding and all that kind of stuff I'm going to put it back to zero because that's where it's looking the best I'm going to start there and do my load development see how good I can get the barrel to shoot with this powder and seating depth and neck tension and that kind of stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and rerun this same test again and I'll show you guys later how that is but uh, you can definitely see it's working so it's positive it was pretty good so I'm a lot happier with the way this barrel shooting the last one was really opened up pretty good size you know it's pretty close to three inches and it was just going away I'd done a bunch of fire forming with it and way too many rounds so um, this so in this new barrel is definitely shooting a lot tighter so hopefully I can get it tighter than my inch and a half 
I'd like to get those down just under an inch if I can, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, you know, with the wind picked up the way it was, uh, it's pretty, not too bad. I, I can live with that. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for now. I'll uh, do more videos later.